Let's run the option and give you our picks for the week. It is the option for week five. We're already in week five. This is flying by. But you know what else is flying by? Our CBS Pick'em League. Join today. Get in on the action. And you can take home some prizes. And you can take home some bragging rights. Speaking of flying by, everybody else in the league flew by us this weekend, Dick. We're now in second to last and last place, respectively. So we got to up our game because we got some stiff competition. Congratulations to Zach. 13 wins this weekend. Congratulations. Awesome monster weekend. But that was last week. This is this week. Let's see what you got. Starting off Thursday night. Peyton Manning Bowl. The Indianapolis Colts at the Denver Broncos. Yeah, I'm just taking Denver. No Jonathan Taylor has me a little concerned. I think Denver gets it done. That sounds about right. Uh, no offense to speak of, right? At Matty Ice, sucks. Jonathan Taylor, not going to be there. This game is going to be won on defense because, frankly, the Broncos aren't in great shakes either. So it's going to be ugly, and Brandon McManus is going to have a day. Need some last-minute fantasy football advice? Then the boys at the Fade Route have you covered. Tune in every NFL Sunday to Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ. D and I give you our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy starts or green light and fantasy sits or red light. That's Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 every NFL Sunday during the season. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you get the Fade Route. That's Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ every NFL Sunday during the season. Sunday, 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 God save the Queen. We're back in London, baby. We are back in London. The three and one New York Giants, who may be without both of their quarterbacks, <laughs> take on the three and one Green Bay Packers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Eli Manning scored the first ever touchdown in London. I'm taking the Packers though in this one. I'm taking the Packers as well as well because I don't know who the quarterback is. If it's Taylor, okay. I'm I'm warming up because it's, it's sure as hell I don't think it's going to be Jones. So, Taylor, I'm warm. Webb, okay, I'm, I'm a little cooler. Jake Fromm, why are we even making the trip? <laughs> so, why are we even bothering? Just, here you go. Here you go, Mr. Rogers. Have a nice day. We're going to go enjoy our bye week now. One o'clock. The one and three Steelers go into Orchard Park to take on the three and one Buffalo Bill. Yeah, they'll leave one and four. I'm taking, I'm taking the Stellars. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm taking Buffalo. Buffalo's going to beat the crap out of whomever is starting, whether it's Pickett or Trubisky. So <sighs> it's going to be, it's going to be a bloodletting. Buffalo wins pretty hand. The two and two Chargers come east to take on the two and two Cleveland Browns. Uh, taking the Browns. Playing well. I like the Browns here as well. Like, I'm still not sure if Justin Herbert's healthy. So, it's very close. So, looking at the stats, they give up 23 points. They score 27. The Chargers score 23. They give up 27. So, it's very close. And 27-23 could very well be the score. I'm taking the Browns. The 0-3-1 Houston Texans take on the 2-2 two two Jacksonville Jaguars. I like the Jags. I thought they played the Eagles nice. I mean, there's a lot of turnovers, but I'm taking the Jags. This is going to be tough. It's a division matchup. Texans are going to play hard. They're playing hard for Lovey. Jags are much, talent, much more talented. Jags win pretty easily. The 2-2 two two Bears go into Minnesota to take on the 3-1 and one Vikings. Oh, I'm taking the Vikings and I love the Vikings defense in this one. I want to take the Bears to be a jerk. <laughs> I really do. But I can't. Like, Khalil Herbert's good. 
Like Justin Fields is going to get killed. He doesn't. I mean, he had more. I was having this conversation at work today. He's had, he's had more talent at Ohio State than he does with the Bears, and they're not that far off. At one point, he had Olave and Garrett Wilson. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Vikings pretty handily. Dalvin Cook's going to have a day. The one in three Lions go into Foxborough to take on the one in three. New England Patriots. I'm thinking the Lions, man. They're not going to, you know, New England's not going to have Brian Hoyer or it's going to have Mac Jones. So I'm thinking the Lions. You don't believe in the immortal Bailey Zappi who looks just like Mac Jones when he puts the helmet on? Negative. He looks like he plays Mac Jones on a Netflix series. (laughs) Varsity Blues. I don't want your lap, Dad. Um... It's tempting. The Lions I don't want. Defense. I don't want your life. That's right. Can we get James Vanderbeek instead? Can we, can we just do that? This is tough. Like, I would. I, I'm I'm almost tempted to pick a tie. Like the the Patriots are that banged up. Zappy. I don't know what Zappy is. I know the Lions defense is fucking atrocious. They're the 32nd ranked. You know, they're the 32nd ranked defense in the league. They have the number one scoring offense in the league. Like, I don't know what to make of that. That being said, I think I'm going to take the Patriots. I think they'll figure out a way to stifle Jared Goff and the immortal Jamal Williams. The 2-2 two and two Seahawks at the 1-3 and three New Orleans Saints with Andrew Dalton most likely under center. Hawks. I love... Teddy, I love how Gino is having his year. Great. I hope he wins comeback player of the year. And he's starting at quarterback for me this weekend. Go Hawks. Pretty handily, too. We'll see if Kamara plays. We'll see if it's if it's Andrew Dalton or not. We'll see. But Saints are ridiculously banged up. The three and one Dolphins at the two and two New York Jets. I'm thinking the Jets I said it earlier. I'm you know, Miami's got Teddy, but um, you know, I just I have a feeling Jets are gonna win this one. I like the Jets here too. I, I like them as well. They, they've shown some flashes, and I think there's enough drama circling the Dolphins that they take a step back this week. The two and two Falcons go into Tampa Bay to take on the two and two Bucks. Oh, it's gonna be a feast. The Bucks will destroy. You don't believe in this newly found run game from Arthur Smith? <laughs> With who? Correll Patterson's out for the for the next four games. Whoever the other guy is. So Algier. Al, yeah, I, I believe that's his name. But I think the I think the Bucks are gonna get right, and the Falcons always seem to be a get right game for the Bucks. Pretty handily. The two and two Titans at the one and three Washington Commanders. Uh, I went back and forth on this. I think the Commanders got a shot. So I'm taking the Commanders. I don't like the quarterback matchup. Tannehill versus Wentz. It's like, no. Like, we're going to run the wing tee. Run. run just, just run, run, run. And comparing Antonio Gibson to Derrick Henry, there is no comparison. Derrick Henry is better. So I'm going to go with the Titans. Can you take the championship from DNZ? This year, you can play our football pick'em on CBS Sports and compete against us in the option every week. Check the link in our Instagram bio, Fade Round Podcast, for all the details and to sign up. Then tune into the Fade Round every week to the Super Bowl for updates and standing. Bring it on. We're into the four o'clock hour now. The two and two Niners at the one and three Carolina Panthers. Oh, the Panthers are trash. They got the 49ers defense. The 49ers defense is going to go to work. I learned my lesson from last week. Panthers are toast. Matt Rule probably is going to get fired very soon. He might be the first guy can this year. The Niners don't even have to put anything up offensively. <laughs> they can just let Baker give them the game. Viking, uh, excuse me, Niners handily. Niners handily. 425, the 4-0 Eagles 
at the two and two Cardinals. Uh yeah, I'm going with the Eagles. I don't, I don't believe in the Cards until they get Hopkins back. Eagles go five and zero. Oh. Eagles go five and zero, oh. and we'll see if JJ Watt is uh, playing after he had an AFib situation had to be uh, defibrillated. So we will see what uh, what's going on with oh, geez, with that. This guy. Oh, five man. and zero, oh, fly Eagles, fly. The three and one Cowboys go into SoFi Stadium to take on the two and two Rams. I gotta think the Rams are gonna be are gonna play better than they played on Monday, so I'm taking the Rams. Rams haven't beat the 49ers in seven years. No, I'm sorry, the last seven the last seven games they haven't beat the 49ers. So, you know, that loss of the 49ers is kind of expected, but they gotta beat Dallas. I'm gonna take the Cowboys. I'm gonna take the Cowboys. I think that the Rams can be had, and more to the point, Matthew Stafford can be had by Trayvon Diggs. A lot. A lot, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Cooper Rush, just going to do steady Eddie. Just doing just enough. Your Sunday night special, the 2-2 two and two Bengals. And the Baltimore Ravens, who are also 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, I'm going to take Baltimore. Even though I believe the Bengals beat them twice last year, I'm going to take Baltimore. That defense, it gives, it scares it me. It's, it's smelly. Yeah, it's, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's smelly. Uh, I'll, I'll go with the Bengals. You know what? I'm going to go with the Bengals. I don't know if the Baltimore defense can hang with the Bengals offense. It'll be a shootout because Lamar Jackson can sure shit throw on – the Bengals defense. Who blinks last? That's going to be the question. And I think the Bengals are going to take it home. Your Monday night delight. The one in three Raiders. Uh, one game winning streak. Going to <laughs> Arrowhead to take on the three and one Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, they're going down. I got the Chiefs. How about them Chiefs? The only thing that I'm watching is... I'm watching to see if McDaniels gets fired before rule or if they wait until Tuesday to can them both. He barely but, won the Denver game. I know. This is very this is bad for a supposed offensive genius. Like it that's a bad look. And Carr, Adams, Waller, Jacobs, the what's left of Hunter Renfro. Like you have talent on this team. It's a horribly underachieving team. But you know who's smiling right now? Rich Bisacci. He's up in Green Bay. He's got himself a job. Smiling from ear to ear. You wouldn't let me coach this team. You wouldn't let me be the head coach. I got you to the playoffs, and you're one and three. Karma's a bitch. Karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. This has been the Fade Route with DNZ. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Catch our podcast on Wednesday nights on Anchor, Spotify, Amazon Music, wherever you listen to your podcasts. Until next time, stay faded, everyone. Time for us to run the go route, but we'll talk to you next week. If you want to get on the action, we want to hear from you. Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com. Slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast. Drop us a DM on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Comment on our YouTube channel, The Fade Route with DNZ. Questions, comments, picks, segment suggestions, you name it, we want to hear from you. Get at us, in crowd. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.